final minute. He's not the only one that's had trouble in the second half. That's Kobe from deep for three. He got it. Kobe Bryant's got 33. A one-point ball game. They're standing at Staples Center, chanting for the defense. Monte to Jackson for three. Good! Steven Jack giving the Warriors the four-point lead. Timeout, Lakers. 38.5 left. A two-possession ball game. And Steven Jackson with his first field goal in the second half. And the drama could not be any bigger. Clock winding down. Kobe with one three. And then Captain Jack on the other end. And the Warrior lead is four. You couldn't write a more dramatic script, even in Hollywood. With Kobe Bryant going for three. The Lakers... Coming back from 26 down, and then Steven Jackson, who hadn't made a shot in the second half, biggest shot of the night. Fisher went down to help out on Monte Ellis, and he left Jackson wide open. And Phil Jackson at the timeout was the most demonstrative I've seen him all game. So 38.5 left. How do the Lakers play this? It's a two-possession ball game. Well, they're down by four, so they need to get a shot probably in the next... Eight to nine seconds minimum, maybe seven. Fisher and Kobe. At Monovich Walton. Kobe Bryant scored the last seven points for the Lakers. Turning, rising, hitting again. Another three. Took exactly eight seconds. Warriors need a score. Six second differential. Warriors cannot bleed the clock here. Don Nelson wants the one four flat set. Can Renmanovic stay with Barron? Look at how they're zoning up. Odom's in the middle. There's nowhere to go. Jackson, another three. Got it again! <laughs> Steven Jackson, cold-blooded! From 27 feet. That was well behind the line. 8.1 left. In every Western drama, there is a gunslinger that comes in from out of town. And sends away the bad guys. While well, Steven Jackson is the Warriors version of John Wayne. Kobe is everything. He's incredible. He's unbelievable. But Steven Jackson more than matches and seizes the moment. And he loved it. And both, we've talked about it before the game. Jackson has to have a good shooting night. They weathered the storm. And, Bob, this will actually could turn into a positive. You give up 26 points, get down, and come back and win the game, perhaps it sends a better message than just blowing them out and winning by 34. Well, now, Phil Jackson go for another three with Kobe and then foul. Even if you were to make free throws, they could have another chance. So how do they play the final 8.1? I'd say drive to the hoop. They don't want to foul you. You want to get a sure two if you can, and then make a foul, but they didn't get the ball at half court of a timeout. Who knows? 8.1 left. Kobe has scored the last 10 points for the Lakers. He's got it now. One for three. Turning, firing, rattling out the three. You don't want a foul. Down to two, down to one. The Warriors win! They blow the 26-point lead, but somehow come back to right themselves with Jackson going for 31, Monte going for 31, Kobe going for 36. What a game we saw tonight at the Staples Center. This is NBA game at its best. And the Warriors did a superb job after the third quarter of creating their new identity. Mental toughness, I've talked about it many times, Bob, and that's what this team possesses. Jack Nicholson telling Steven Jackson, you're all right with me, kid. As he hits a couple threes there, and Jackson with 31, and he's alongside Matt Steinmetz's 
Just an amazing finish, Matt. The Warriors still have not lost back-to-back -back games only one time since the beginning of the season. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jack, would, uh, would Jack Nicholson just say to you? He said, I, I, I was a better Jack tonight. Uh, he just said he's been watching me. Uh, he loves the way we'll be playing. Hopefully we do good in the playoffs if we make it. Now, you guys were up 26. You got down. This game could have been maybe the worst loss of the season. Instead, maybe the grittiest. Yeah, uh, we got complacent. Got too happy with that lead. Got a little bit too relaxed. And anytime you're playing against Kobe Bryant, he's not going to be relaxed. His team's going to be going to play harder. So uh, we found a way to win, but it was still ugly. Steven, you didn't make a shot in the second half until the three with 38 and then the, the other three to, to finish it off. I mean, when you're getting ready to take that shot, do you think at all that you're struggling in the second half? You can't because if you think about uh, missing the last couple of shots, you're going to miss it for sure. I just try to stay confident. I know I have to make plays. Uh, whether I miss my last four or not, I got to make plays. And uh, I'm going to do that for my team every night. Uh, it seemed like Kalena did a pretty nice job on Kobe tonight, made him a volume sheet shooter. Man, uh, that's the main reason we won this game tonight, uh, as a book. He played great defense. He competed. And that's what we need for him to have a, a, a great season, a great entire season. He's been playing well. He's the main reason why we won tonight. Now, to start the game, Barron talked before the game. You guys wanted to pick up your defense, be aggressive, get in the passing lanes. You did that in the first half. You scored 25 points off turnover. Second half, a little tentative. Yeah, uh, I think I think we got, we, I, we, uh, was a little tired. But uh, we got to find a way to come out tomorrow and do the same thing. You know they're going to be grinding for us tomorrow. They, they don't want to uh, let us beat them two times in a row, so we got to be on our A game. All right, Stephen, thank you very much. Hey, we got another one tomorrow. As good as this one is, how much fun is it going to be at Oracle tomorrow night? Same two teams. The drama of this game with the Warriors building the 26-point lead. The Lakers come all the way back to take the lead. And, Jim, you know in the league, if you give up the lead, you almost never get it back. And how the Warriors were able to come back and hit those big shots. And it sets up a monster matchup tomorrow night. Well, it's certainly fun to watch two teams play small ball. And actually, the front line of the Lakers is much bigger. But the Warriors battled well and did a super job rebounding tonight. And they came through in the clutch when it counted. But those games coming up, yeah, tomorrow night's important. And remaining after that as well. The, the part of the Warriors story has been the road warriors this year not only fans that have ventured away from the bay area to follow the team but you knock out 20 wins on the road that that is an amazing thing particularly in a western conference where even quality teams don't have winning road records and now new orleans moves percentage points ahead of the lakers in the west it changes every single day dirk Nowitzki with what appeared to be a serious injury the warriors equal dallas in the loss column and the Bob Dylan might say the, the seeds, they are a change in <laughs> yeah. from one through eight every yeah. single night. The times. And that is a 27-foot shot. He was well behind the line. And you see New Orleans Lakers basically just one game lost win column, but percentage points favor the New Orleans Jazz. No one cares about that in Warrior land. The Warriors, though, keeping ahead of Denver. But also catching Dallas. There's a, there's a chance the Warriors would be yeah. the seventh seed. And what an amazing spread, one through eight in a four-and-a-half game difference. And, oh, by the way, the Warriors are going to see the Lakers. They're going to see the Hornets. They're going to see San Antonio. They're going to see Dallas a bunch more. Talk to people who have been around this league for 40 years. Hubie Brown, he said he's never seen a better race in the Western Conference than we're seeing now. You'll never see in a more amazing regular season game. Nine straight losses at Staples to the Lakers. Forget about it. A happy Easter all the way around for Matt Steinman, Jim Barnett, Bob Fitzgerald saying so long from Staples. If you liked it tonight, we'll see you tomorrow at 7 from Oracle.